Welcome back, this is part 8 and in this video I will show you how to engrave text and logo on the object. First of all, I will add text on the viewport. Go to edit mode and type Smith & Wesson. Click object tab and convert text to mesh. This object has too many vertices to use as a cutter for a bool tool, so we need to decrease the amount of vertices. Select Decimate modifier, change from collapse to planar, and apply the modifier. Go to Edit mode and press A to select all vertices. Open Search menu and select Merge by Distance. After that, tweak the value of merge distance. Make sure not to disturb the shape of letter. Press X and select Limited Dissolve. Again, tweak the value and don't disturb the shape too much. Let's drop Solidify modifier to add thickness to it. Okay, next, embedding logo on the main frame. I'm not going to use bool tool, but this time I will create normal map from the reference that I used from part one. Let's crop the logo from the reference and save it.
open the new project and add a plane on the viewport. Drop displacement modifier and go to texture tab. Open the image file which I have just saved and subdivide the plane. The number of cuts will be 100. Change the strength of displacement to 0 0.02 and add subdivision modifier. After that, subdivide the object twice. Open UV Editor and create new image. Add new material and bring image texture. Select the image that I have just created. After that, go to Render tab. Select Cycles and open Bake section. Finally, press bake and you will get normal map. Okay, go back to previous project. Go to shading tab and create new material. Add image texture and open normal map. It seems nothing happening, but actually the logo is already on the mainframe. In order to put it where we want, we need to unwrap the mainframe first. So open UV editor and bring the normal map file. Go to edit mode, A to select all, and press U to choose project from view. And then select the object on the UV editor, scale it down, and move it to the corner. Choose faces where you want to put logo, and finally scale up the selected faces on UV editor. Alright, this will be the end of part 8. In next video, I will add material and finish rendering. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.